socks on. We're back in the arcade for another episode of the Arcade Chronicles. And today we're looking at a game called... Presented by... It looks like it says Air Gallet, but it sounds like she's pronouncing it Air Garrett. Now the... Uh, the information according to uh, that's next to this title lists the country as Taiwan. Um, so I don't know if that means that it was made in Taiwan or that this was released in Taiwan. I'm not sure. But I, I was ready to dismiss it as some kind of a bootleg or something like that. But then when I actually put it on, I was like, these are some just awesome, luscious 2D graphics. So I didn't want to skip over it. Uh, plus, it's got that awesome intro uh, where she says, Air Garrett. There she Air goes. Garrett blows your socks off. Blows your socks off. That's great. Uh, and it showed a little uh, movie. It doesn't seem to show it too often, but the little movie was kind of dark. I think you might see the beginning of it if I, uh, you know, let the video, if I cut that far into it. Uh, but yeah, it was kind of dark and uh, depressing. Uh, but okay, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. Uh, it came out in '96. And uh, it's by Ban Presto. I, again, I, I no idea. I'm assuming that this game didn't come out in the US or if it, if it did, it wasn't in wide release. Okay, let's go. But yeah, again, 1996, that was really late in the game for a vertical, you know, kind of 2D game like this. You know, everything was really starting to go 3D at that point, and 96, you know, things like Daytona USA and things like that have been out for a while. Um, and yeah, they really were kind of... Um, pushing the limits almost for what you can do with 2D graphics. Again, you look at these graphics and you can't do much better than this. I mean, of course, now you've got HD uh, 2D graphics and that's certainly higher quality, but in terms of like the art design and art direction and just, you know, the smoothness, the explosions, um, this just, it holds up really, really well. It's just very pretty. Yeah, these games really, by the time that this came out, um, these games weren't real popular in the U.S. anymore. Uh, but I believe in, certainly in Japan and other parts of Asia, I think that shooters always had some level of popularity. And now they're such a uh, appreciated genre, you know. You got a lot of shooter enthusiasts now, and I mean myself, I can definitely say that if it wasn't for YouTube and all the awesome people that I've watched on YouTube, you know, I wouldn't know about most of these these shooters or or give them a chance. This type of a game, because uh, you know, I wouldn't have seen some of the, the greatest uh, examples of it. I mean, I liked shooters. Oh, cool! Uh, I liked shooters when they were out, but, uh, you know, I, I was like a lot of people, I was a uh, technology whore to an extent, you know, I was always fascinated with what was, what the new stuff was, and you didn't, I didn't look at this, it, the graphics are amazing, <laughs> and I'm blowing up the space shuttle, that is uh, an interesting, oh, I haven't even been using those, oh, yes, I want to continue. <laughs> the poor space shuttle. Bad enough that it's been retired. But they're taking it out for one last flight. We're just shooting it down. Look at that. Just vaporized. Yeah, this game's cool, though. Really cool. You know, I, in fact, I might even say that this game is 
blowing my socks off. So the lady was right. Nice. Uh, one thing I like is that, first of all, it's you know difficulty-wise, it's it's manageable for sure. Um, I also like that when you die, you drop out a you know a big wad of power-ups that you can grab to at least get yourself some. Oh, okay. Uh, you can get yourself back in the game a little bit instead of starting out with just the pea shooter. Oh, oh, oh. They, like right there. So we're not quite as powerful, but not too far off. Oh. Yeah, these graphics are just awesome. Come on. I still have three more. Oh, I gotta use those. All right, yes, we'll continue again here. That's what we need. Give me. Uh -oh. Something big's about to happen. What the heck? I agree. That was too easy. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's shaped like a stealth bomber, which of course, you know, it has zero radar signal, but it's like a, oh man. It's like a stealth bomber with uh, um, hood ornaments on it or something. A stealth bomber, but with all these big things sticking off the top of it, fins and jets and stuff like that. So you don't see much of a radar signal, but what you do see is stylish and classy. Oh, man. <laughs> and we're, look at that, we're fighting right over the, the Eiffel Tower. And why am I not using this? Just use them. Yes, just use them. All right, I guess that's all I got. Oh. oh. Do I have any more credits? No. All right, well, let's see. Let's throw one more in there. We got to settle this fight over the Eiffel Tower. I'm hoping that this guy doesn't crash onto it. Oh, man. I'm just not reading that right. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you better miss the Eiffel Tower. Thank you very much. Very nice. Oh, okay, that's stage two. Mm. Man, from Paris to what is this? Like the surface of the sun? Who knew the sun was colonized? Oh, no, it's not the sun. Okay. Oh! Oh, nice. There we go. If it is the sun, then they got a cool Ferris wheel. I don't think that's the sun. Oh. are going to call it there. Uh, that was... <laughs> I do the same thing in every video. You know, you'd think I'd like make myself a note or something. Now, what was the name of this game? But it was very cool. Oops. Liked it a lot. Yeah. 
Well, you know what it was. You watched it with me. So, anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.